All right, number 25. A person is standing outdoors in the shade where the temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. What is the radiant energy absorbed per second by a head that is covered with hair? The surface area of the hair is 160 cubic centimeters and has an emissivity of 0 0.85. Anytime it says an emissivity, you know that you are going to be using that thermal radiation equation that says um, that emissivity times Stefan Boltzmann constant, surface area times temperature raised to the fourth power. Now we want to know what is the energy absorbed per second, and that is what this says. Q over T is energy per second. Emissivity is 0.85. Um, change in temperature, so the temperature is 28 Celsius, and in order to use this equation, you must be in Kelvin. So add 273 to this to get Kelvin, and that, when I do the math, that looks a lot like 301 Kelvin. Um, Stefan Boltzmann, so emissivity is 0.85. Stefan Boltzmann constant is a constant, and that's on that constant sheet that I had you print early in the term, or um, I gave you, if I have you in a face-to-face -face class, and that is the 7 Boltzmann constant, area. Area should be in meters squared. We have 160 centimeters squared. We're going to have to do a wee bit of converting. There's 100 centimeters per one meter, but this is a squared unit, so we're going to have to do this twice to get rid of the square and ended up with square meters. I end up with 0.016 meters squared. So when I do all of this, I think I'm ready to put my numbers in. Let's see what we get. Uh, delta Q over delta T, which is energy per unit time, is going to be is emissivity, 0.85, times Stefan Boltzmann, 5.67, times 10 to the negative 8 joules per second meter square Kelvin to the fourth power times the temperature 301 Kelvin. This, just this bit, is raised to the fourth power times the surface area 0 0.016. Now when you put this in your calculator, make sure that, and this is your order of operations is going to be careful, make sure you just raise this to the fourth power um, and multiply the rest. So I'm going to, I'm going to do 301 y to the x fourth power 4 and this number comes out, I'm going to go scientific notation, this right here comes out 8.21 times 10 to the ninth, and then these three things multiplied together, 0.85 times 5.67 times 10 to the negative eighth times 0 0.016, I get 7.71 times 10 to the negative tenth, and that, when I multiply them together, energy per unit time, 8.2 raised to the ninth, I end up with um, 6.33 joules per second. So be careful. I think this is the part that's going to mess you up, and it's just make sure that's to the fourth power. My favorite way of x to the fourth powering is that y to the x button. That seems to be the easy way to do it. Now let's do part four of this problem. What would be the radiant energy absorbed per second by the same person that his head was just too beautiful to be covered by hair, so he had 0.6 as the emissivity. So we're going to do exactly the same problem, but this time I'm going to do 0.65. So I'm not even going to rewrite it. I'm not even going to change this because that's going to stay the same. And when I do the whole thing the second time, I end up with 4.84 because this is heat radiant. Um, 4.84 joules per second. So there you go. Different emissivity, a little bit, little bit higher rate of reflection, and uh, less heat absorption. So that's kind of nice. There's got to be advantages. Next problem. 
um, and I'm going to need some uh, space. So I am going to just chat at you for a moment while I give myself a little bit of space. Hello, I hope all is well. You're having a happy day, and I'm going to go right here. And now we are, I think, ready woo, to rock and roll. It's a good thing that we're near the end of the chapter. Okay, here goes nothing. Um, a solar collector is placed in direct sunlight where it absorbs energy at a rate of 880 joules per second. So that's my Q. That is my Q over T. That's my 880 joules per second for each square meter of surface. That's the surface area we're talking about is one square meter. The emissivity of the solar collector is 0.75. What equilibrium temperature should the collector reach? Assume that the only energy loss is due to the emission of radiation. All right, this one gets a little bit tricky and interesting again because we're solving for that T. We're talking about radiant energy, so we're going to use Q over T is emissivity, Stefan Boltzmann, area, temperature to the fourth power. So temperature is going to be equal to that Q over T is the power rating in watts, and that actually is equal to watts, divided by emissivity, Stefan Boltzmann's area, and then we're going to take the fourth root of all of that. So let's give this a go. So the power rating is 880 joules per second, Emissivity is 0.75. Stefan Boltzmann constant, 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8 joules per second, meters squared Kelvin to the fourth power. And this is per one square meter of surface area. Now, let's see what we get. I ended up with, before I take the cube, not cube root, fourth root of this, I end up with 2.04 times 10 to the 10th Kelvin to the 4th power. How do you 4th power? I would type in this number, then I would hit the Y to the X button, and taking the 4th root is the same as raising something to the 1 quarter power, or 0.25, and when I did that, I ended up with 379 Kelvin. And I think the answer they wanted in Celsius, so to get Celsius, minus 273, 106 Celsius. Ta-da!